Welcome to the build! 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 Welcome to the I don't want to be ready, for quite frankly. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm never ready. You know I'm always three hours late. Uh, that's right. Okay. So, we are going to talk about a very serious topic. Very serious. Which is shaming. Shaming. Very serious. It's a lot of shame. The bullying. It's like bullying. It's yes. It's done by bullies. And uh, we were very uh, distraught and somewhat amused in by... Fact, in fact, Artie, Artie is like, we're literally shaming somebody just a minute ago, right? She was there in Dunkin' Donuts buying donut holes for her baby. Although the question is, if you just lost 150 pounds, why are you at Dunkin' Donuts buying donut holes? I don't know, Rebecca. <laughs> so we thought about the other kinds of shaming that are that we see rampantly, rampant shaming, like, like in the Bronx, for example. There's, there's food stamp shame. Oh yeah, food stamp shame. Terrible, terrible thing. So, do you ever notice, when, like for those of you who may live in lower income neighborhoods, look at those EBT cards. They all, they buy, what card? The EBT, so what's that? It's those little cards that get, allow them to get free food. Oh, like food stamps. Now, they only buy convenience foods. Oh yeah, those EBT people. So, have you ever seen people like complaining behind them saying, oh, they're buying Lego, Echo? Yeah, I do that. Well, I don't do that. That's food, that's food sanction. Oh, okay. So I shouldn't do that anymore? No. Don't do it. Um, it's, very, it's very mean. Mean girl. Yeah. No. I would say. This is a, a terrible situation known as sock shaming. Terrible situation. Have you ever been to a Japanese restaurant where you had to take your shoes off? Terrible, terrible. And then you had that little hole on your sock with your big toe sticking out. And then those bitches at the table next door are looking at your foot. Oh, awful, awful. This has happened to me. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't appreciate those, those haughty Manhattanites. Haughty. This wouldn't happen in Brooklyn. No. But it happens in Manhattan a lot. Very hot. It's been very hot in Manhattan. Not like Brooklyn, it's not very hot. Oh, oh, here's here's one that here's one that I don't know anything about. And this one this one rhymes with sock shaming, it's cock shaming. Yeah. Ernie Ernie's afraid to say cock. Now in, <laughs> I'm not afraid to say cock, but then why it says rhymes with sock. It's like rhymes with witch. <laughs> so have you ever been in a bathhouse where you, somebody invited you into their cabin for sex and then as soon as you took your towel off and they saw the size of your dick they kicked you out of the cabin because they didn't think your dick was big enough well that's cock shame that's never happened to me well, it, it's rampant it's at the east side club I, I know some of you know what I'm talking about well this never happened to me I, I, west side club too okay well I, I, I think that's about enough of that I don't want to hear anymore about that so don't shame! Yeah, don't shame. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Okay, welcome back to the Pew! Yay! Yay! So we're, we're drunk and we're gonna, well, we're not, but you are. 
And um, because I'm not drinking, but we're going to get all of you really drunk now because we're going to play a game called Bug Chaser. Chaser. Bug Chaser. Okay, so, so we have here, here, ladies and gentlemen, here is the bug. And this is the object. The object is to get this bug. And the person who gets the bug gets not only the bug, <laughs> but they get a round of drinks after the open bar. There's an out open bar in about 10 or 15 minutes. And after that open bar, then there'll be another open bar for the person who has the bug. So um, you're going to be very lucky to catch this bug. Now, don't confuse this bug chasing with that pernicious form of bug chasing out there on the oh, internet. Oh, yeah, it's just a coincidence. It's the same name. Just a coincidence. Yeah. It's like we're, we do not endorse people going out and trying to catch syphilis or AIDS so that they can have all the unprotected sex that they want. This is a this is a simple, innocent game that we're playing where you are simply trying to guess where the bug is. Who's got the bug up their butt? It's either William, me, Rebecca, or Ernie. One of us has the bug. So. We are, Rebecca's going to pick four contestants from the audience. Rebecca, go out there and pick four people. Who's that, got yeah. the bug? Yeah. Whoever, 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 gets, whoever gets the bug gets a round of drinks. And that's, and that's five drinks. Any, any drink that you want. Where's the lady? Five in the round. Right here, right here. And it's not we just long drinks. You no. can drink you? or some other kind of drink. Hopefully the drink has ABT in it. Ah! Alright, someone pulled the mic out. Oh, I got the bug! Oh, we have a winner! Oh my oh, god! We only got the bug! Round and break from the event to the upper bar. Thanks for watching! Chris, me, we're going to see Rebecca. Thanks for watching, Rebecca's back! Who's <laughs> the first next? I want to tell you all a story. Yes. It's about two of my favorite things, industrial theft and tits. Yes. It's the true story about the inventor of the modern foundation garment that women wear today. He was a German scientist and opera lover by the name of Otto Titzling. This is a true story. Uh, Maestro, if you please. Otto Titzling, inventor and crowd, had nothing to get very worked up about. His inventions were failures, his future seemed bleak. He fled to the opera at least twice a week. Whose tits were so big, they would often impede her. But night he watched her fall into the pit. Done in by the weight of those ginormous tits. Oh my god, there she goes. Aerodynamically, this bitch was a mess. Otto eyeballed the diva lying comatose amongst the reeds, and he suddenly felt the fire respiration flood his soul. Then he ran back to his workshop where he butts and butts and butts. To lift and mold the female breast To point the small ones to the sky To keep the big ones high and dry He'd sweat and snort Searching for the right support He tried some strain of his lips He even tried his own two lips Well, he stitched and he slaved and he slaved and he stitched Until finally one night, in the wee hours of morning Out of a row Workbench triumphant. Yes, he had been the world's first over the shoulder boulder holder. Hooray! <laughs> Exhausted but ecstatic, he ran down the street into his house wearing the prototype of his hot little hand. Now the demon did not want to try it on the ground, but after many initial misgivings, she finally did. And the sigh of relief that she was bored from Diva's mouth was so loud that it was mistaken by some in the early onset of the Sorokin, which was the Ruffin, which was the Scotch Wolf, who had a man 
Do you buy a tit sling or do you buy a Brazil? 